On July 8, CCTV accidentally exposed a shocking news when reporting the relevant images of J-15T carrier aircraft. Many J-35 stealth carrier fighters in Shinfei plant appeared in the footage, including the fighters that have not yet been painted in a finished painting. The exposure, the CCTV camera is not hidden, as if to the world to declare, China's fifth-generation stealth ship-borne fighter has come out of the validation stage, officially entered the mass production stage. In the picture, several J-35s are neatly arranged, some of which are draped in green protective coating while others have completed gray painting. The fast production progress and large number of J-35s have quickly triggered the attention of the global military circle. The debut of J-35 is much more than a simple exposure. It represents China's high-end naval fighter in the field, has successfully realized the U.S. military F-35C head on beyond, breaking the West's technical monopoly in the field of stealth naval aircraft. Sixteen years ago, the predecessor of J-35 FC-31 is only Xin Fei for the foreign trade market and the development of the project. 2009, the project was formally established, the 2012 Dragon Boat Festival, the first flight exposure, the outside world once jokingly referred to as rice dumplings machine. Today, this once foreign trade candidates has been transformed into China's three aircraft carriers general main shipboard platform. In 2021, the FC-31 was officially renamed J-35, and in the following years, it completed the whole process of adaptation, from skidding takeoff to electromagnetic catapult. 2024, the CCTV documentary, Quenching, first revealed that the J-35 completed skidding takeoff and landing in the Liaoning, and successfully passed the electromagnetic catapult test in the Fujian ship, which marked that the J-35 had the ability to be deployed on multiple aircraft carriers. The technical configuration of J-35 can be said to be top-notch. The maximum takeoff weight is 30.8 tons, and after replacing the turbofan 19 engine in the future, the maximum takeoff weight will exceed 35 tons. The empty aircraft weight is 14.5 tons, and the mounting capacity can reach 8 tons and the radius of combat is more than 1,300 kilometers, which provides a powerful long-distance striking capability. In terms of radar system, J-35 adopts active, phased array radar with gallium nitride T, our components, with a detection range of over 250 kilometers. Combined with the EOTS optoelectronic targeting system, distributed aperture system and passive infrared detection device, the J-35 is capable of realizing 360-degree full area sensing, and can still accurately lock onto the target no matter under extreme weather conditions such as sandstorms. In terms of power system, J-35 currently uses turbofan 13E engine, while in the future, it will be replaced by turbofan 19 engine, with a thrust of 12 tons and a thrust to weight ratio of up to 10, which makes J-35 have a supersonic flight capability of Mach 2.2 and an excellent capability of surprise defense and strike. Compared with the single-engine design of the US F-35C, the dual-engine design of the J-35 is more advantageous in terms of safety and redundancy. The F-35C, as a single-engine fighter, has a lower fault tolerance rate on the battlefield, while the dual-engine design of the J-35 provides a more reliable guarantee for the execution of complex missions. China has boldly innovated in stealthy structural design by adopting integrated skinning, laser welding, and 3D printed titanium structures, which have not only reduced the weight of the airframe, but also dramatically improved the fatigue resistance of the airframe. During a certain takeoff test in March 2025, the J-35 successfully took off in a certain sea area in Bohai Bay, marking China as the second country in the world to master the electromagnetic catapult stealth carrier aircraft technology. At this time, U.S. satellites captured relevant footage, and within just 72 hours, the Pentagon held three emergency meetings, they finally realized that the F-35C's technological advantage in the Asia-Pacific region was rapidly disappearing. Meanwhile, Shenfei's production pace is amazing. Currently, the J-35 uses a pulsating automated assembly line, and it takes only 72 hours to manufacture from the aircraft frame to the entire aircraft. The application of 3D printing technology replaces the traditional riveting process and a single molding reduces 1,782 rivets and 34 procedures, which not only dramatically shortens the production cycle, but also ensures higher precision. In the CCTV exposure of the screen, just a few shots will show five different production stages of the J-35, 
showing that its production capacity has realized a large-scale expansion. Another gray-painted J-35A that quietly appeared in the footage is a land-based version built specifically for the Air Force. Although it is currently in a low-profile state, its design structure has already reserved enough space for future upgrades. The aircraft will operate in tandem with the J-20 as the mainstay of the mid- to high-end aviation brigade, offering excellent flexibility and a relatively modest cost. The J-35 made its first public appearance at the Zhuhai Air Show in November 2024 and has since appeared frequently in various flight formation rehearsals, with the Air Force and Naval Aviation already starting to field it on a small scale. It is expected that the three models of the J-35 will achieve an annual production of 50 units by 2026 to 2027, by which time China will become the world's largest producer of stealth carrier aircraft. The J-35 is also solidly supported by its domestic engines, especially the Turbofan 19. The Turbofan 19 adopts snap and interface design, which can be quickly replaced under field conditions, shortening the maintenance cycle by 70% compared with the original, and its service life can reach 12,000 hours, 2,000 hours more than the F-135 engine, which can save more than 80 million US dollars in maintenance costs for China. In addition, the foreign trade version of the J-35, the J-35A, has also entered the export preparation stage, and the first potential buyer may be Pakistan. It is reported that the first batch of orders for a small number of deliveries for the establishment of a security system and training pilots to lay the foundation for the subsequent large-scale installation. This will not only bring China military trade benefits, but also provide new leverage for its strategic deterrence layout. In terms of naval deployment, the Fujian ship is planned to carry 36 J-35S, the Shandong ship will carry a mix of 12 J-35S and 16 J-15Ts, while the Liaoning ship will continue to use J-15Ts and gradually be converted to a version adapted to J-35S. The three carriers will form a dual-mode combat system of sliding, catapulting and slinging, which, together with the J-35s, all-carrier adapted capability, will build up the Chinese Navy's multi-layered far-sea combat capability. The tactical application of J-35 is also full of highlights. In the actual combat exercise, J-35 led a swarm of attack 11 drones to paralyze the simulated carrier formation in only 15 minutes, and its tactical flexibility surpasses that of traditional carrier-based aircraft. In contrast, although the F-35C was once the world's only stealth carrier aircraft, it has gradually fallen on hard times due to more than 800 hardware and software flaws exposed in actual operations, as well as its low fault tolerance on the battlefield due to its single-engine design. China's J-35, with its technological transcendence and system advantages, has caught up in the field of stealth carrier aircraft and has the strength to surpass the F-35C. Behind this is the strong, industrial iron fist of China's aviation manufacturing system. From design modeling to automated assembly to rapid maintenance, each link shows the deep heritage and strong ability of China's military industry. J-35 is not only a technological breakthrough, but also a symbol of the rise of China's military industry and provides core support for China's integrated air and sea combat system. In the future, J-35 will not only undertake important tasks in the fields of air control, sea attack and electronic warfare, but also become an important pillar of China's far sea combat system before the sixth generation aircrafts are formally put into service. With the widespread deployment of J-35, the West's military advantage in the Asia-Pacific region will be further compressed. The regional power pattern will be reshaped. This time, the CCTV exposure is not accidental, but a confident display. Behind the strength of China's military industry and confidence in the future, the emergence of J-35 not only fills the blank of China's shipborne stealth fighter, but also shows China's leading position in the field of five-generation aircraft from visible to usable. J-35 has been transformed from a test aircraft to a representative of China's military strength and has become a new era of China's military industry. It has become an important symbol of the rise of China's military industry in the new era.